We'll start with Justin Spears, Arizona Daily Star. Correll, after four games this season, what would you say is the identity of the team so far? Um, I would say that, you know, we're a hardworking team. We put together, we play for each other. And I think, like, you know, we have a lot of grit. You know, we, we want to, you know, win every game, you know. Um, I would say we're defensive-minded. And I just think, like, we're like a, a family. I mean, that's just the biggest thing. Like, you know, we may, you know, we fight together. So, like, you know, we, we try to, like, you know, keep winning games. So that's the biggest thing I would say. It's like we're a family. And uh, for Ben, uh, how was your experience through the first four games as a freshman? Uh, I feel like it's been great uh, playing with the team. We have a lot of players from different countries. So I feel like it was uh, it was really amazing to be uh, like to have a, uh, such uh, uh, build, uh, a big chemistry in the team with uh, only four games played. And what what would you say has been the biggest improvement of the team through the first four games? Uh, I feel like we play more defense. We talk a lot. Uh, yeah, I feel like we talk a lot, and uh, it has been great for us. Next question, Bruce Pasco, Arizona Daily Star. I'm sorry, both of you guys, I was wondering, it would seem like with all the new guys you have, yourselves included, that uh, this kind of ball movement might be tricky. I mean, you had, I think, 21 assists on 20, 27 makes tonight. And, and how, have, how has that process gone, getting to feel for each other and, and, and being able to, to move the ball like you have? Okay. All right. Um, I think the biggest thing is that, you know, we've been in the game since like late August. So we kind of like, you know, got that feel from each other, just um, doing our individual workouts and we find each other's hot spots and stuff like that. So um, I think that just goes on to like, you know, just knowing each other, just the culture we're bringing, the, you know, identity, identity that we have. And, you know, it's like, you know, you, you know, we look up, we, we try to, we're sharing the ball really well. And that's like the a key to, you know, winning games and playing together is sharing the ball. And, and, and uh, would you say either you guys too, like, was there a certain point in the preseason where things started to click like that, where you, you said, okay, this guy over here really works for him or whatever that, you know, situations where you kind of had to feel for that? Um, I mean, I feel like everybody on this team can play. Like, I know that I know for a fact everybody on this team can play. So it's just about, you know, sharing the ball. I mean, the, the offense that we run is really, you know, passing, you know, getting everybody else involved, like getting the whole team involved. So I feel like everybody can play and that's, that's how I feel. Next question, Steve Rivera, Fox Sports 1450. Yeah, this is for Benedict. Uh, how, how do you f see yourself fitting in here? You've played very smoothly in your first four games here, kind of fit in perfectly. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm doing everything for the team. If I, if I have to play one, I have to play one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do it for the team. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm a 6'6 six, six guard. But uh, if I got to play the, uh, the three, I'm going to play the three, and I'm going to do everything. Uh, I'm gonna do everything. Uh, I'm gonna do everything for my team to win. So I'm play. I'm play hard defense and go grab rebounds and do and do what I'm able to do. It's kind of you. You're very athletic. Get up and down the court very well around the basket. The whole team seems like it does that. True. Yeah. True. How do, tell me? How does that feel with everybody being able to do that? Oh, uh, I feel like uh, I, I can more uh, trust my teammates. Because I know if, if I can do it, my teammate can do it also. So I feel like it's only uh, great for the team. And uh, to trust the, trust the team, going to help us win. Thank you. Next question, Alec White, Arizona Daily Star. Yeah, for, for Terrell, when you were at Seattle, you weren't really known as a, a three-point shooter. And, and tonight was one of your better three-point shooting games. I think you tied your, your career high. When you came to Arizona, did, you know, how much did you try to improve this offseason on your three-point shooting? And do you see yourself as, as somebody that can do this, uh, you know, more consistently? Um, I think this is like a big, like a big thing that I, you know, went to, you know, summer and until now to keep shooting threes, you know, because I know with James Akinjo, Dylan Terry, Ben, Jamal Baker, even though our big men, um, they're going to like, you know, have a lot of, you know, get a lot of looks at double teams and all that stuff. And I know James and Jamal and Ben and Dylan, you know, will swing, swing it. You know, we don't, we don't, like we're an unselfish team. So I got to be ready to shoot it, you know. And, and that's what I've been working on a lot with Jason and the coaching staff. And, you know, after practice, we're all shooting, have shooting groups and everything. So it's been like, you know, something I, you know, keep working on. And I feel like I can still keep, get better shooting. 
and you guys obviously have been shooting the ball three point wise as well. And, and can you just speak about you know Jamal's hot streak shooting? Uh, it seems like what's when he do you guys like talk to him? Uh, it's, you know about his streak because the last two games he's just been you know something else. No, that's what Maul does. Maul is a shooter. Like Maul is a scorer, not just a shooter. He's a scorer. He can score the ball in many different ways. I mean, y'all y'all see it. Y'all seen the last game, man. Y'all seen it tonight. He can score, drive in, pull ups. You know, transition threes, get to the foul line. He can do it all. So, I mean, that's nothing we talk about because we know what he can do. Like we we see it in practice. So yeah. Maul and then uh, this one's for for Benedict. Uh, you had a you had a play in the the first half where you were on a fast break and it looked like you weren't sure you wanted to dunk it or, or pass it. Uh, do you remember that play and what was kind of going yeah, through the line there? Yeah, I remember it, it was a fast break. I was thinking about like dunking the ball so hard, <laughs> and then I saw like the guy coming. I just switched hand and like missed the layup, and I knew the sub was coming. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like next time I'm gonna just throw it down, and, like take the chance I have. Throw it down. All right. Yeah. Next question, Jason Barr, Kagan. Terrell, in previous years, when Arizona would beat some mid-level teams by, you know, 20 points or so, it would be, oh, you know, they're supposed to do that. With all the upsets so far in college basketball, does that make these wins a little bit more meaningful, do you think? Uh, I think every game is meaningful. You know, you, you know, you kind of like, you know, take it for granted at first, you know, but you know what happened with last year and the pandemic and everything, you know, that's what got taken away for us for a long time. So I feel like every practice we go into every, you know, film session, every game is meaningful because, you know, I mean, at any given day, you know, somebody can upset somebody. So we don't want to be on the other end of, you know, being upset and, you know, we want to, you know, stay, still be like the hunter, you know, we want to hunt teams down. Next question back to Bruce Pascoe. Hey, uh, Terrell, we, we've talked about just kind of that adjustment you've made, uh, you know, being a, a big time scorer at Seattle. Uh, now you're coming doing that, but you could also score, obviously, when needed and, and but also having to come off the bench. And I'm wondering just how, how that that whole process has gone, especially now that you've had four games to kind of get a feel for this, how this role is going. Um, I mean, just like anybody on this team or, or you know, whatever role we get, wherever, like if it's one minute or 40 minutes, we're going to do whatever it takes to win the game. And that's just the biggest thing. Like, that's everybody's mindset, no matter what. Like, we're super unselfish. You know, we all play for each other, you know, because we all want to win games. So, but that's for myself playing one minute, come off the bench, starting, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to give it up my all every time I get on the court. Where did that come from? I mean, do you, the, 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 that unselfishness, I mean, did you sense that with these guys? Or, or is it some kind of, any kind of bonding you've done throughout this preseason where guys seem to like each other? Or, you know, where is that coming from? Um, that's just the, that's just how we are. That's just the culture we want to bring, you know, like that's just everybody in the locker room. Like we all, you know, talk, we all goof around, you know, like, and it's, that's just the connection we bring to each other. You know, like everything's genuine with each other. You know, we all want to win games together. Thanks. Next question back to Justin Spears. Hey, Terrell, have you learned, um, any of the guys' language, like any of the, the foreign players, have they taught you any of their language? No, nah, I ain't never. No, nah, I ain't learned nobody language. I know Ben be speaking French with Christian, and then um, I be hearing Tibet speak. Is it Turkish? Turkish, right? Tur Turkish, and Bacho also be speaking French. But I ain't never like I haven't tried uh, as. No, nah, I already did my language <laughs> in school. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Ben? Uh, have you learned uh, anything other than uh, French and English? Oh, uh, I'm starting to learn to learn Lithuanian. It's pretty hard, but I feel like I, I'm gonna get better as the year goes on. Um, what else? Probably French, my, my first language. Uh, what, what? Probably Turkish. I know like two, three words. <laughs> nah, I'm, like, I'm getting better every day, but like, yeah. And uh, now that you're, you guys are wrapping up uh, the, the semester, uh, what's your just overall impressions of, of Tucson and being here at Arizona, Ben? Oh, I feel like Tucson is amazing. The sunset is pretty cool. Uh, the people are really genuine. So, uh, and we are when, when we walk in on campus, everybody knows that we are the basketball players. So they always be throwing like uh, beer down and stuff. So it's really nice uh, to walk around the city. Thank are you. there any more questions for Benedict and Terrell? Yes, we'll go back to Bruce Pascoe. 
Hey, Ben, uh, speaking of French, I was wondering if, if you heard Christian throw down any French when he, he was he was doing all that dunking and when he kind of exploded there in the first half. Was it, I don't know if he does that or, or you do that just kind of as a, you know, enthusiasm. Oh, I feel like he probably like just said, let's go. Like, I don't know. It was it was no French because I couldn't understand. But I think uh, Christian was amazing dunk. Uh, I think he was just hype. He, he only screamed. He had like nothing to say. Yeah, it seems like when he, uh, you know, he gets these bouts where he's super aggressive and it really pays off. I mean, did you see him hit, you know, kind of I mean, a different mentality or something get into him early in the second half there? Come on, Christian. Um, well, we, we, we see this every day with, with Christian. I mean, he probably blocked a lot of shots from me driving to the basket. So we, we know what Christian can do. And like, it's not really a surprise, you know, cause he's, he tip dunks, he, you know, he does a lot of mid range shooting in practice, but I think like, you know, for Christian's coming, gonna be a really great player. Thanks. All right, one last call for questions for Benedict and Terrell. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.